y'all hear me okay? My mic settings were a little weird when I came back to this for some reason. But hopefully I fixed it. And hopefully y'all can hear me. Yeah, exactly. How are the levels? <laughs> Alright, cool. So, this is basically a continuation of what I was doing last time. If you see here, we have... Our little friends that we made. We have the Kirby who is looking up at the sky. The fossil we made from Animal Crossing. This was supposed to be an Arbok. And this was a MKP cookie. The Pokemon Crossing fossil, yeah, exactly. Um so for this one, I just wanted to show you that it was baked. Um, it it doesn't really need anything else. Once you once you have baked this kind of clay, that's already the colors that you want. Um, it's done. You don't need to seal it or anything. Um, <laughs> why can't you eat it? I'm not sure. Well, so polymer clay isn't actually a clay. It's almost like a type of PVC. Um, so when you bake it, it kind of all melts together and 
as it cools, then it all solidifies. So it, that's why it doesn't really need finishing. It's almost like a plastic. <laughs> Thanks, Chombi. <laughs> and I still don't know if you guys can really see the shininess of it um, from the mica powder that we added, but it's all embedded in there from before and we baked it like that and it's done. Um, when you're not baking clay that are already the colors that you want, you're gonna obviously have to paint them. And we'll get to that in a minute, but first I want to talk about actually baking everything. It cannot melt back into a... well, okay, you, it kind of can. If you reheat it, it can, so if you want to... if you want to attach something better, you can um, use that. Everybody was excited when I said bacon bond because they thought it was bacon, but... Uh, bake and bond. You can use. You can actually make something else. Use the bake and bond. Put it on there and rebake it. It will melt a little bit and resolidify, but you can't like melt it and reshape it or something like that. <laughs> Why can't you eat it? I don't know. <laughs> so, oh, and here's the keyblade we made too. Can you guys see that? This is going to be really fragile because I didn't spend a whole lot of time making sure this was very attached. Um, but it is what it is. That's okay. I like when you're disruptive. So when we're baking polymer clay, you don't have to worry too much about discoloration or anything like that when you're doing just gray and building sculptures that way. But when you're doing colored clay, especially lighter colors or translucent colors, you don't want the colors to darken or change um, as it's baking, which it can do, especially the translucent colors. Oh. Nice. <laughs> 10 gift subs. Thanks, Arrow. That's amazing. Holy swag indeed. This will go on for a while. Oh. Congratulations, Exalted Nyx, Tormod, some numbers, Mimi Lovebug, Harcourt 34. Oh. Adam in the way, Brian Stewart. Gam so so. Mal. <laughs> Maldita. BGM Collective. And Rob Kovacs. Aww. I went to Rob's stream the other day. It was pretty good. And I always go to BGM Collective streams. Those are really good too. That was really nice of you, Arrow. We really appreciate it. Enjoy your raffle tickets. Oh. I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> oh. So that's exciting. Thank you. Oh. I love that our alerts are like so disruptive. I mean, we made them like that on purpose because we're disruptive, but you know, like I was saying, <laughs> thank you, Arrow. You're the best. Enjoy your tickets. Um, and I hope everybody enjoys their subs. So back to clay. <laughs> when you're doing light colored clay, you don't want the color to change. Um, and if it gets too much heat too quickly, it can. And 
a way that we stop that from happening is just manila envelopes. I bought a pack of um, manila envelopes and then I just cut them as I need them. And you just tent it like that. So what that does is it makes sure that if there's a sudden like blast of heat or something, it's not gonna just um <laughs> Sorry, songs of healing. I don't I can't get you some new clay right now. Um It's gonna prevent um any blasts of heat, like when your oven's trying to heat up to the right temperature or something, um from discoloring your clay. And your paper's not gonna burn. If anyone's into reading, you should know what temperature paper burns at, and it's much lower than what clay needs. Um, clay bakes at about 275 Fahrenheit. I don't know the Celsius, I'm sorry. Uh, do I have any packs of clay that would tell me? No. Um, and um, it, it varies a little bit by brand, so definitely check the nice. <laughs> Definitely check the brand that you're baking before you bake, and some of them will be a little bit higher, a little bit lower, but they're all around the same temperature. And if you mix clays, you just go with um, either the lower temperature recommended for the clay, the two clays you're using, or you can average them. It's better to go a little bit lower and bake it for longer than to go too high and burn your clay because if you leave it too high or too long it can burn and blister if it burns and it's just like discolored it's okay you can paint over it if it blisters it's kind of ruined it's hard to save it then ask me how i know <laughs> i did that um when you're baking you don't want to trust the yeah, blisters. Um, you don't want to trust the temperature that you set your oven to. You definitely want to use something like this that you can keep in there while it's preheating. And you can also keep on the tray while it's baking because ovens will lose a little bit of heat. Um, all right, Bruno, you should make a Kirby and just bake it at a really high temperature. So ovens will kind of heat up and cool down and heat up and cool down. You want to really watch this dial and make sure it's staying. Oh yeah, ovens are big time liars. And um, so when I, f you also probably don't want to bake this in the oven that you're baking your food in. Um, it is, since it is basically PVC, it's going to release a little bit of fumes. It's really not it really would be fine in your food one unless it gets burnt then it's gonna be um not great <laughs> but okay so i bought a very tiny toaster oven for my first foray into clay and it was the cheapest thing i could find and i was like you know i don't even know if i'm gonna do clay um i'll just get the smallest cheapest thing and I did, and it was not great. So I had two of these, and I put it on either, I just put them both in the oven because I was like, what if my one of my thermometers is off or something? And they had completely different temperatures. And I was like, oh, well, maybe one of my thermometers is off. But no, it's because the heat is so uneven in the very, very cheap toaster ovens that it really was a lot hotter on one side and that side everything would burn no matter what I did. So you don't have to buy a super, <laughs> yeah, and I turned out fine. You don't have to buy a super expensive one, but just one that works consistently, um, like a mid-range toaster oven, I guess, would be good. One that will just give you a consistent temperature. It's like not, you don't think it would be like that much to ask, but apparently it is. Hey trossed off good games today um <laughs> go to a doctor yeah so that's about the baking 
you want to keep it at a consistent temperature and all of them are going to say things like bake at this temperature so we made these last time key otter and now we're going to try and paint the ones that we haven't that were not the colors we want and i was showing them that we made this last time and it's all the way done now because it was already the colors we wanted um yes plastic fumed food is delicious um so that's yeah that's about the baking oh what i was saying was they're all gonna say bake at this temperature for thanks um for 15 minutes for every quarter inch of clay so that's kind of hard to estimate when you're making big sculptures which is why last time we didn't make this out of solid clay we made a ball of tin foil and we put clay around it and that way we were still able to kind of estimate a good amount of time I baked it for just about 15 minutes and it's pretty solid hey sweet Beegis when you take it out of the oven it's still going to be soft because it's still really hot so the pvc that it's made of is still pretty malleable so you want to the best way to do it is bake it the 15 minutes or longer if your pieces are thicker and then turn it off let it sit there let it cool down slowly inside prevent any like hot uh like blasts of cool air that are suddenly going to shock it because especially things that are flat can warp and you don't want to have things warp um, and another thing about flat pieces some of you may know I at one point made a tiny marimba for drum ultima so the problem with that was all the piece the piece that I made that was all the like bars was really thin and had to stay flat. So to get it really thin, I used the pasta roller that I used, I showed you guys last time. But to keep it flat while it baked, I basically cut a whole stack of these manila folder and made a pile. So it was kind of heavy and flat and put it right on top of it to keep it that way until it was cooled. So I, yeah, it was polymer clay. So, um, it was kind of like a weight on it not too heavy but enough that I probably had it it was a pretty big stack um, but you just bake it with that whole thing on it since this paper's not gonna poly world clay nice um, yeah it's not gonna burn your paper use it to tent use it to flatten manila folders are surprisingly useful when you're doing clay Okay, so when you're actually baking it, if you have pieces that are like, this clay's not really warmed up, so it's not gonna really stick very well, but say you were creating some sort of creature and it had a horn like this, and you wanna bake it like that, and you don't want it to heat up, get softer, and then just start drooping, um, you can take folded up tin foil or you can take little cuts of manila folder and just put it right there to prop it up while it bakes that way it'll stay in the right position while it's baking while it's heating up getting softer and then until it's completely cool you just leave it like that and when you're all done everything's baked and solid you can take the little pieces out that you've used to prop things up with so that's a handy tip um, another thing that you can use is if you have a lot of very very thin work you can't make like a million things to prop it up with and there's just like if you made like a very intricate tree or something you can just lie the whole thing down in a container of cornstarch and bake it like that. That way the cornstarch will keep it all in the right place and when it all cools down, it'll be solid and 
come out fine. It'll turn out fine, like me. Anyways. <laughs> so that's kind of the basics of baking everything. When it comes out of the oven and cools completely, you probably want to get them in the right shapes. Um, I like to cover my work surfaces in something that's easy to clean up. Something that I found works really well is just like this glad press and seal because it just kind of sticks to your table. If I can find the edge of it, that's the problem. Here we go. So it kind of sticks to your surface, so it's not going to move around every way. Edge. <laughs> Where's the edge emote when you need it? And then if you make a giant mess like I always do, um, you can just throw it away after. So, let's paint our Kirby friend first. Before we paint, you want kind of a good surface for the acrylic to stick on and a good base color for it, for your, your colors to show on and so that they're more vibrant. You don't have to do this step, but I like to. This is a canvas primer for when you're painting on canvases, but it works really well on polymer clay too. It's just like made of acrylic, just like acrylic paint is. kind of goopy. I probably should have done this first, but there we go. So it's basically kind of like a chalky acrylic paint, but it makes a really good base for for other colors. Especially if you're doing a lighter color, it can kind of mix with the color of the clay and then you have to use a lot more coats and things like that so I just like to do a little bit just like you don't need a lot just a very thin coat of the gesso will get the job done and then when it dries it'll feel a little bit kind of chalky and weird but it'll be good to go for painting after that And you don't have to paint the bottom of your pieces because really who's gonna see it but I always do just I don't know seems wrong if you don't right Kirby's pink all around so while I do this I would like to point out that the last swag fest event is a geek swag concert right here on this channel tonight at eight o'clock which i'm pumped for because there has not been one since you know coronavirus and everything geek swag is incredible if you have not been to one of their concerts you should not miss it um i am looking forward to that so much a perfect way to close out the three days of swag fest and thanks for redeeming that ticket key otter um or tickets um the raffle was supposed to be announced today the winners but we decided to do it tomorrow because that'll give people more time to earn points and redeem tickets on um during the concert and we have lots of different prizes you can put your tickets towards so definitely check out our discord and look at what the prizes are and let me know on that channel the raffle tickets one where you want your tickets allocated so that you do end up getting something that you actually want <laughs> thanks for linking the discord gray hand and attempt by bruno um so there we go. You can still obviously see the clay through it. I don't like doing like tons of thick coats of this. You just need a little. 
Oh, and let's talk about brushes too. So you definitely don't want the cheapest brush possible because the hair will start coming out as you're painting and like stick into this and it's not good. You don't need like super high quality artist brushes, but just something that's not the very, very cheap ones that they mean, I think, to give to kids. Um, that would work better. And you want different sizes of brushes if you're going to be doing some detail work and some like bigger pieces. Let's get all of these done. So this was supposed to be a Paper Mario Cookie by MKV. So I'll have to like look at a picture of those. And pick one to do. There we go. And the Arbok, which I don't know if we'll get to painting all the details on this because actually the pattern on it is pretty pretty intense. The kind of paint I like to use on polymer clay is acrylic. Um, pretty durable kind of kind of paint sticks well, has great colors. Won't come out if it gets like wet or something. All right. Most of the detail work on this guy is right here. I don't know what that part of the snake is called. Snick. The frill part. The fancy part. Anyone here speak snick? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now, we made... I was trying to get a bunch of stuff done in one stream, so I probably would have spent a little more time on this, like smoothing this out and making sure... Hey, Ian Drum! Enjoy those tickets! All will be awarded, and please make sure you let me know in Discord where you want those tickets to go. There's a lot of people with a lot of tickets, so it's pretty exciting. But even if you don't have a lot, you should still play everybody. Because it's all just random. Everybody has a shot of winning whatever they put their tickets into. Okay. So that's that. Let's talk about paint. Obviously I said I use acrylic paint. Um, you can buy like little pack of acrylic paint like this. Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I invested in like this huge thing because I use so much paint and I always need really specific colors and you can mix obviously paint to whatever color you want but then I usually spend so long on these projects that I have to keep sealing and resealing the paint that I've mixed so that I always have the colors I need until the whole project is done, so I invested, excuse me friend, in this giganto box, which I was really excited to get, with 60 colors, which are now all everywhere, but, and pretty good sized, pretty good sized containers in them too, so that was pretty exciting for me personally. Like, this whole section is just reds. That's so cool. What do we need? We need some pink and white. And I think Kirby's eyes, are they blue, I believe? <laughs> well, I don't want to have something painted and it just be like 
kind of close, but not exactly. That would drive me crazy. This is pink. Looks kind of Kirby-ish. We'll take a look at it. Oh, there's lots of pink. Pink, rose. There's purple. That might become useful for our, our bark friend. <laughs> look at all just green. So many colors. All right. Now let's take a look at my pictures. Find my Kirby. Where'd he go? Here he is. Okay. This color pink. Oh, it's pretty close. That's awesome. I love it when... Oh, hey, Zen. <laughs> Zen's like, we're talking about getting baked? What? Alright. So... <laughs> oh, and another thing is, you can also get these, like, value-sized acrylic paint things. Um... Which are really good for really basic for basic colors like white and black and especially colors that you're going to use to mix a lot like obviously white and black um i like to grab a big value size thing for that all right let us start with the pink I love that Bruno. <laughs> I like to do thin coats because otherwise it gets kind of like clumpy. Like you can see the clumps in there if you make the coats too thick. You definitely need at least a couple coats. And I would have let the gesso dry a little longer if it wasn't something I was doing on stream. But, here we are. It'll still turn out fine. Right? Like me? Can't wait till I go back to work after Swag Fest and I keep telling all my coworkers that I turned out fine. I like to leave the detail work for last, so just the eyes on this, and on the other one it'll be the designs, because you really want to get all the way up to the edge of this. I don't like having any clay left showing, and a good way of making sure that you're getting all of it is to just keep looking at it from different angles. You'll always find a spot that you miss somehow, or at least I do. <laughs> exactly, rotate the evidence. Otherwise you'll miss something. Man, I started playing the other Phoenix Wright games, the, what was that guy's name? Oh gosh. The DS games. With the other dude. Obviously I played a lot of it. I think I played like half a case. Um. But then I just stopped. And I need to get back into it, but I don't even remember what was happening in the case I was doing or anything. I'd have to, I think I'll have to like start the case over. It's been too long. Y Apollo Justice, that's what it is. Um I liked it at the beginning, but I just got really distracted with other things. And those cases are really hard to just stop in the middle and go back to because you have to remember all the evidence. 
and everything that happened. You, I mean, I know you have the, like, stuff in your log, but it's not the same as, like, going through the game itself. It does look, Kirby does look like bubblegum. I bet somebody at some point has made, like, Kirby gumballs or something. Are those a thing? I would not be surprised if that was a thing. Here he is, he's very pink. The bottom's wet, so it's gonna like stick to this, so it's okay. We'll leave this brush for this. Let's make the base for the cookie, shall we? What color were those Paper Mario cookies? Like a tan-ish brown? Let's see if I can find a color that would be suitable for those. too yellowy. They were sugar cookies! <laughs> hey, I'm KP, good timing. <laughs> On the, in the little, like, emotes, they look like brownish. Maybe it was just the lighting. Alright, sugar cookies. Should we do like this? What is this? Naples yellow. That's a good sugar cookie color. <laughs> it is a Kirby. We are working on that. I'm letting that little bit dry. This looks like the cut. This brush is terrible. Jeez. I just told you guys to use nice brushes and then this one happened. Alright, I'm gonna go against what I said and not paint the bottom of this one. Don't listen to anything I say. Clearly I'm a liar. Woo! Ten raffle tickets! Raffle winners will be announced on Monday on Discord. So by that time, please tell me where you want all your tickets allocated, and that's for everybody. Alright, that's going to be our cookie base. Yeah, everything's a liar today, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, that terrible brush is going out of the rotation. Let's pick a color for Kirby's shoes while we're waiting. So they're like a... Are they supposed to be just red? It looks almost like a rosy red color. Seems too bright. Let's see what the other choices are. I don't know whether they're actually not that bright or whether it's just like my printer printing it wrong. Vermilion, magenta, maybe if I mix these two. It might give us a nice color. We're not going to need a whole lot. He doesn't have too much area going on. Let's see. Don't be a terrible brush. I do love Vermilion. He's my favorite character in VVVVVV. So this is the exact color of whatever my printer printed out for his shoes, so we're gonna go with it. Are they shoes? Are they his feet? Does he wear shoes? Wait, everything I knew was a lie. This guy's still wet. You still 
still can't believe failure's a command. I didn't even realize I had put that as a command. I was like, wait, is it a command? We should try it one day. And there it is. So, if I ever do something and I fail really hard at it, y'all know what command to use. Should have done that when I cut myself doing polymer clay day one. Because I was basically like, I'm totally about to cut myself. And then I did. And I was like, yep, I did. I could see it coming. The trouble with doing this on stream is usually I just paint a little and then wait for it to dry and then I come back, paint a little bit more. You guys don't have that kind of time to just sit and watch paint dry literally. So we're just gonna move on to this guy. Purple. That purple's way too dark. Okay. Let's see. Is that our best option? We can always lighten it with some white. Let me see if I have anything else that might be cool. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, let's use this. So this is, there's a little gem on top and that means it's a metallic finish. And I love metallic finishes. All right, awkward gaps, right? I know MKP, it's just like, what can you do? Some things just take time. Alright, so we're going to use this color because it's pretty actually close, but also it has a cool metallic finish, which I really love. I'm not sure if it shows up on stream or not, but it's one of my favorite kinds of paint. <laughs> I could try that. This color I love. It is very, very see-through-ish. It's gonna need a lot of coats, but it looks really cool and shiny in the light. And as we discovered last polymer clay stream, when I was playing with the mica powder, I super like shiny things. Actually, it's not even, it's not Pokemon shiny. It's like paint shiny. What color is shiny Arbok? I, I have no idea probably something hideous. Whenever they don't know what to do with a Pokemon, they make it green. That's true. <laughs> He's always in our Final Fantasy chat. So if anyone out there plays Final Fantasy 14 and wants someone to talk to, one to ten of us are always in the Final Fantasy chat on our Discord. And that one is the Great Sigma. I love the metallic finish. I bought a lot of metallic finish paints when I was building, um... oh, he's yellow. Well, I like this metallic purple. I wonder if it looks cool. Sometimes I think shinies look so cool and sometimes I'm just really not into them. Like shiny Dragonite, why? Or like the shinies where you can't even tell, like Pikachu. Yeah. We missed you at the Swag Upperty. Zen and Boz have both put on some incredible game shows for Swag Fest. I think everyone had a lot of fun and we really appreciate all the work that went into it. They were both really, really fun.
Graham's been pretty clutch on our tech side, as usual. Couldn't have done anything without him. Well, actually, so Zen, people in chat after um, after name that tune were saying that this might be fun to do more than like once a year. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm I'm sure your niece loved having you there. I guess we can share you with her. I guess. You guys can see how cool and shiny this color is. I wish you could, if you can't, because I really love it. Whoa! Thanks for the bits. Drum Ultima. Um, we used your mar little marimba as an example when I was teaching how to bake flat things. Um, but yeah, right now we're painting stuff and making a mess because that's what I do. But I'm probably not going to injure myself today because there's no sharp tools and there's no like needles. So, well. <laughs> Pro you don't know. I said probably. You never know with me. I was talking about how when I made the bars on top, I made like a flat sheet. And then I stacked things onto it so that it didn't warp when I was baking it. And I taught people how to do that. Alright, so we have the little the base coat going on our Arbok. Some shiny purple. And the Kirby's not dry yet, but we're gonna pretend it is and do a second coat because I'm not waiting around watching it. Alright. It's not like super wet. It just there it is. kinda tacky. I want it is in this room. Thanks! F. Hugh? Is that a joke? Like, F. U. <laughs> or is that a name? Sometimes it's hard to tell. <laughs> but thanks for the follow. <laughs> Welcome, Dylan. We are putting a second coat of paint on our friend Kirby here, and I was wondering... <laughs> it was once a joke, it's my name now. <laughs> Love it. Well, welcome to the stream. We are celebrating one year of being affiliate by having three days of activities. This is our third day of Swag Fest. So right now we're doing some polymer clay at 8 p.m. Everything I wanted is in this room. Thanks for the follow, Exalted Nyx. Man, Nyx was my least favorite Persona boss ever. <laughs> but it's probably not what you're named after, because it's also spelled differently. Um, yeah, 8 p.m. Do not miss the Geek Swag concert right here on Swag Fam. It's going to be amazing. Look at that little pink boy. Oh yeah, does Kirby have shoes or red feet? Did anyone answer me in chat? Because I don't remember. Or I didn't read it and I missed it. <laughs> Sandy Hot Hot! Okay, Sandy Hot Hot! No, <laughs> 
Uh, I'm not sure who was. It was just recently. It was probably Aaron 3D because he came in here and swooped in, gifted ten subs. <laughs> Even though I know he was super busy today, so that was very nice of him. All right, look at those. So basically, David Piano is the Kirby expert. If you have Kirby questions, you know, shoot him his way. <laughs> If it comes out not terrible, I'll mail it to you, David Piano. If it comes out terrible, I'll still mail it to you, and then you can just throw it away. <laughs> yeah, of course. You are the Kirby expert. I really want this to dry so I can make the Paper Mario cookie before the stream ends. But I can see it's still too wet for that. Also, I need to pull up a picture of it. I love all your little emotes. Alright, let's turn it around. Look at all the parts I've definitely missed. Right. What color Kirby is best? All right, David Piano, it's all you. Blue. All right, that wasn't David Piano, but that was a vote for blue. Of course, OG. All right. So I don't want to tip it over right now, but I can definitely see that there's big spots underneath that I've missed. But I want to let it dry a little bit more before I do that. Ooh, this is finishing really metallic and cool. Man, can you see this? All right, let us get some white. Actually, oh, well, how should I do Kirby's eyes? They're, maybe I'll do a black, it looks like a black base with blue over it and then white light reflections in the picture. So maybe I'll do that. So I need black, not white. I was so close with the white. It is an Arbok, or it will be. We got a Pokemon, we got a Kirby, and we've got a swag meme. Which is a cookie that MKP made. <laughs> is this black? It looks gray. What color? Oh, it is gray. That's why it looks gray. Isn't that special? Good lord! <laughs> And here's the thing, if you mess up and like the paint goes in the wrong place or whatever, it's okay because it's just going to dry and then you can just paint over it. So don't worry about it. That's what I do. <laughs> I just keep painting it till it looks right. People probably receive my gifts and are like, wow, this has like 80 layers of paint on it. And you may ask, wow, you like to do clay all the time. What do you do with all those things? But generally, I like to make things for other people. I don't really keep a whole lot of them myself. Because then I have more space to make more things. And plus, my friends are cool. They all deserve cool things. Yeah, 
that's a good start to that. And it looks like turn it this way so you guys can see it better. It's starting to become Kirby-fied. What color his mouth looks like? It's the same color as his shoes in that picture. Uh, okay. I don't think we're ready for the mouth yet, though, because we still need more pink. I can see down here that it needs another coat of pink, because I can still kind of see through to underneath. Earn my bread. I love misheard. Oops. I love misheard um, persona lyrics. There's a whole album, I think, in Japan of misheard Japanese lyrics to persona. I feel like they should make an English one too. I've never heard that album, but I bet it's funny and good. I saw album art for it. The other day, Jer was asking if there were canon... <laughs> exactly, guys. The other day, Jer was asking if there were canon, like, lyrics to K.K. Slider songs. And I'm like, there's not canon ones. They're just ones that people, like, hear. Like, I mean, most people can agree on Meatball Meatball. But for the other ones... I mean, there's definitely sounds that I remember from the songs, but I don't know if that's what other people hear too. Let's see, is this, that's too dark. That's probably better. So the reason why I didn't wait till it dries is because I kind of want it to melt together. That's what it looks like on the picture. That it's like blue and black kind of mixed together. I will let it dry and then I'll go over it again with the blue a little bit. Alright. How are you doing, my friend? Oh, looking pretty good. Let's give you. No, you stay there. Bad. guys definitely ready for another coat this paint is this metallic paint is much thinner than the other paint so it looks like it's drying a little faster you can kind of tell how dry the paint is by how shiny or tacky it looks oh my god that's so funny I'm cavey looking so different is that right I don't have any idea. One time I looked up the lyrics to like a Persona song I knew really well and I was like, wow, I was way off about every word in this song. Don't look up 
wins wins of fate. Okay. Is it really? I bet it's so different. I couldn't believe the one that I did look up. I don't even remember what it is now. But the one that I did look up, I could not believe how wrong I was about the lyrics of that song. I mean, I obviously still love Persona music, but like, I obviously also don't know what they're saying either. Nice. Purple is my second favorite color. That's why on Twitch, my name's all in purple. So I can type something. Hi. That's my Twitch color. That actually looks like a pretty good amount of coats of this. Can't really see through to the clay. Don't see a whole lot of brush strokes going on. Oops. Don't fall over, dude. Hey, Nautilus Tea Party. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you here. We're painting some polymer clay. There it is. Everything I wanted is in this room. Everything I wanted is in this room. Thank you for the follow Nautilus Tea Party. It is day three of Swagfest here at SwagFam. We are working on some art. We will later be watching a concert right here, 8 p.m. Eastern. You're definitely in a different time zone, so I don't know what time it is for you, but in about an hour, there will be a stream here. Midnight, wow. <laughs> All right. Cool, dude. I'm definitely going to let this dry off stream <laughs> thanks I appreciate that I'm gonna let this dry off stream and finish the bottom of it um, and post a picture on our discord before I mail it off to its new home where did I put the black I don't know oh I did want to show you guys something and I have dotting tools I use for when I'm making clay. I showed you guys that. I used that to kind of make the divots where the eyes will go for Arbok, but I mean, dotting tools are more regularly used for paint. You just find the size you want. There's different size dotting tools. There's two on this one. I have a lot of them. So you can always kind of find the size that you want. And we actually need a pretty big one. And they're used a lot to make light reflections in the, when you're painting or creating things. That's pretty big light reflections in his eyes. And kind of smooth that out with the other side of it because you don't want like a peak in the middle of them. Yeah, it's starting to look Kirby-esque, right? Let's put the mouth on it. We can use the same brush we used for the feet because I think we're gonna use the same color. Let's 
like a rounded triangle to me. It's great to have you here, Nautilus Tea Party. Come hang out with us more often. Nautilus Tea Party has been streaming a bunch lately too on his channel. So definitely check that out. And remember, folks, if you don't like the mouth, just paint over it. And it's like it never happened. I'm going to clean up the edges with that with pink after it dries. But it's starting to look kind of cute. All right, is this dry enough yet? Maybe. Let me see if I can pull up a picture of one of the cookies and see which one is the easiest to paint. For those of you who are unaware, one of our swag memes, we had a swag memes panel for um, Swag Fest. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> One of our swag memes was Paper Mario cookies that MKV made, and we love. I don't know why she doesn't like them, but, you know, we're big fans. Uh, if you want to see more about our swag memes, I think we pinned our slideshow to our Discord. All right, so our choices, let's go with no stachio because that's the least amount of colors. I think I just need black and white for that. Our choices of cookies are Potty Mouth, Melon Cookie Mario, and no stachio. Oh yeah, you should check out our slides. <laughs> our panel came out pretty normal, just like our memes. <laughs> All right, so I need a really thin brush. Let's see if I have any clean ones left. Oh, this one is black already. Perfect. All right, now I gotta find black because I don't remember where I've actually put it. Found it. All right, this is going to be for... I hope it turns out like super terrible. No stachio. Here we go. Yes. Definitely get ready for that show. I cannot wait. I can't believe it's in less than an hour. I've been waiting for this for months. Okay. An ear. A hat part. MKP promised me she would bake these for my birthday next year. You found it? Okay, cool. Let's see if I can do your meme cookies justice. They actually, when they were all done, looked fine. It was just in the middle steps when you were making them where you were like, oh my god, I can't believe I made these things. <laughs> but that's because they were in the middle of being made. They looked fine. <laughs> Like a rounded nose, a sad face, two little dots for the eyes. <laughs> I don't think that's, yes. Well, I think I said, Can you make these for my birthday next year? And you said, 
yeah, sure. So I took that as yes. <laughs> Y'all can check out our swag memes thing later and see if I did this justice or not. I don't really know what's going on here, but it looks like four lines. <laughs> it's true, I have no proof. I have no proof at all. It looks like it's all one color except for there's a white spot at the top. Uh, it's too big. Use the other side of this. Alright. That actually looks like it to me. But y'all can be the judges. Can you see our Paper Mario meme cookie? Be lunch. Oh, but it has to be turned like looking down because it's it's melon. Oh no, that's not the melon cookie one, but our meme is like that. Here we go. Perfect. Now, in our last few minutes of the stream, We'll put some, we'll color some of this eye white. Let's see. This is the picture I'm looking at. We'll use this black again to do some of that little detailing. I'll put some here. <laughs> I failed. Yeah, if anyone's can't find it, just let us know and I'm sure someone on Discord will be happy to link you to our swag memes slides. Because you know, that's normal, make slides about your memes. painting um, the design on the frill or whatever this part of the snake is called if you guys want to see it again Ooh, I knocked everything over but that's fine there's a little point at the bottom and then a point here and then it kind of swoops up from the side to the point. It's a little bit wider than I made it. And my philosophy with clay or paint or any kind of creative thing is just try it and if it doesn't come out good that's fine. You can always add more clay or paint over what you did or start over, but you might just end up with something really cool, you know? Thanks, Greyhand. Appreciated. Alright, and then, oh, there's black oval things that I'm going to paint and then I'm going to let it dry so that I can paint the red and yellow over it.
So this weekend was the first time I ever crafted on stream. But I have to say it's pretty fun because I get to talk to people while I do it. And usually I'm just like by myself. So I like this and I probably will keep it up some after Swagfest has ended. Alright, so here's the base of it so far. And once the black is dry, then I can go over it with the red and the yellow kind of in this. This is more like round at the bottom, isn't it? It's not pointy. Now it's like that and I'll let it dry and then I'll go over it with the red and then at the end I'll make a little yellow looks like upside down heart which I didn't realize it had which is kind of cool. Let's see how our Kirby friend is doing. How you doing Kirby friend? Kirby friend is still pretty tacky and needs to dry. Some paint is just thicker than others and sometimes the coats go on thicker and you they just take different amounts of time to dry. This is how my workspace always looks when I craft. I just like have things everywhere. It's a giant mess, but you know, it's fun. And I'm sure other people are much neater, but that's not me. Adding more blue to the eyes at the bottom. I might even go over it with a lighter blue or a shinier blue. This one is a pearl finish. Clearly I still like shiny things. Yeah, messy workspaces are great. It's kind of like how my thoughts are, just all over the place, always. All right. So I put a little lighter blue on it so you can get more of the blue feel. And then I'll go back in with the darker blue. What do I do with that? Let's mix it with the darker blue, actually. And then, there we go. Yeah, now really you can, you can see that there's blue to black transition in his eyes, like in the picture. How's he looking? Ooh, as I make a giant mess. Aww. Maybe we'll have to represent it sometime. Quick, everybody do more funny stuff so that we have another whole slideshow for the next swag fest in a year. Just keep being you guys, basically. We need a rerun. Yeah. If people really want to see it again, we can present it again. <laughs> Greyhand really came through. We were having some technical difficulties at the beginning of that panel, but thanks to Greyhand, we were able to do it. And it turned out fine, just like everything in Swagfest, including the people. See, at the bottom, we didn't really get to the feet because I have to let this side dry. Oh. Oh my goodness! Swag 
for swag for love swag for swag for love swag for swag for love swag for swag for love swag for swag for love swag for swag for love swag for swag for love swag for swag for love swag for swag for love swag for swag for love that's my favorite song <laughs> you said it too. <laughs> uh, it's my jam. Thank you for subscribing, Eric. Add it to the panel. Now I do have to present it again. You're right. The swag memes panel was pretty funny. I was literally in tears as we were presenting it. It was hilarious. We are pretty silly, and we wanted all of the people who are new to swag fam to kind of understand what we were talking about because we always have really weird things to say so that's why we did this panel um we really we don't want to be like oh you wouldn't get it like there's not much to get you just have to like you know watch the videos and just have it explained so that's what we did one of the videos we watched like three times because it was so funny everybody kept laughing <laughs> I got a little pink on the shoe but that's okay once it's dry I will paint it over hey little Kirby you looking good you looking good friend everyone talks to their <laughs> Wins and stole arrow stuff. I know that one was so funny. <laughs> well, Key Otter, you can look at our slideshow that's pinned on our Discord. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. We're always happy to be weird and explain ourselves. I'm just basically um, cleaning up around the mouth. So the edges are more finished. I need another brush. Or no, I can actually use this dotting tool to smooth it out. Who needs brushes? need a smaller brush. I don't think I have all my small brushes down here yet. Yet. No, I don't like this brush. I'll just do it later. All right. Well, we have five more minutes of the stream. Does anyone have... Oh, thank you, Chombi. Does anyone have any questions about all the different stuff I said about polymer clay or just anything in general? And please don't forget to come to the concert at 8 o'clock right here on Swag Fam. It is our, ooh, nice, 10 tickets. <laughs> um, it is our last big event of Swag Fest. It's gonna be really fun. You can still redeem tickets and earn raffle tickets during the whole concert. Bruno's really going for it. <laughs> um, and tomorrow we're gonna announce our winners. So if you have raffle tickets, and I know a lot of you do, make sure you go to our Discord and you tell me where you want those tickets to go. Would you like to try for a shirt or sticker pack or a gift card or an awesome plushie or a Final Fantasy XIV outfit or whatever else is on there? You can go there and see the choices and you can tell me what you want. Oh, and a Geek Swag song, duh. Okay, you can also get, uh, you can either redeem 50,000 swag points for this or you can put tickets in the raffle for this, but you can get Geek Swag to do a song about a game of your choice, which I have redeemed twice. <laughs> um, I think Bruno has two, maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe once or twice. And, yeah. That's about it. I'm going to wrap up my stream so I can... You did once. Um... Oh, yeah. That's right. That's a good choice. 
that's a great soundtrack um i'm gonna wrap up here and get ready for the concert and you guys should too grab some snacks find a comfy spot their concerts are always amazing you will not be disappointed i'm so excited um and yeah concert hype see you all there i'll be in chat obviously and thanks for being here for my streams and thanks for making my first three solo streams like so much fun and i can't wait to do it again hey waza <laughs> i think i'll have some tom nip abdomen <laughs> way to play thanks from ultima all right Cool. I'll see y'all at the concert. <laughs>